Brett Okamoto with undefeated UFC strawweight Tatiana Suarez, who defeated Nina Ansaroff tonight at UFC 238 via unanimous decision. As I mentioned, Tatiana, you remain undefeated, but you don't look thrilled with your performance tonight. Is that fair to say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, wasn't the greatest performance, but I got the job done. So, uh, yeah. What do you attribute that to? What do you think went wrong tonight? Um, well, a lot of it was my neck. My neck is really bad. Uh, so going into the fight, I heard it a couple of weeks before, and then again the week before, and then this week I didn't do anything to hurt it. So I thought it was going to be okay, but during the fight I heard it in the first round. So it was really difficult for me to to use my left arm because the the pain was like radiating down my arm. Um, but yeah, and against a tough opponent. <laughs> You need two arms. <laughs> she was a tough girl, so you know I really. It was a it was a shame that you know I had to fight through it and worry about my neck the entire time. But she's because she's I mean she's a handful for anybody. So. I, mean, I would say against any opponent, I would like two arms, especially the tough ones, though. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Yeah, and when I saw, I I did see you reach for it after the first round. Uh, can you talk about what, what what was the injury that you were nursing coming in? Um, I've, I've started having, I got hurt, I shot and like I ended up getting a really bad stinger um, in my neck and then I sparred the next week and it triggered it again and um, so yeah it's just been really bad but I thought it was good going into the fight and it was good for a little bit like the first couple shots and then I think one of them I really messed it up. I know that neck injuries aren't the most uncommon thing when you when you go to the, when you're wrestling all the time, but you've also had that, that that thyroid surgery and you had to let your neck heal from that as well. Is that do you still have any lingering effects from that, or is this just a completely unrelated wrestling injury? Well, I had this when I wrestled, so that's kind of remember we talked about how I, I got hurt and I hurt my neck, and then I found the cancer through the neck injury. So yeah. So this is kind of like that, but it was worse back when I wrestled. It's it's bad now, but it was ten times worse. That's why I had to take off a long time from wrestling and any sport. <laughs> what was that third round like for you? Your neck isn't feeling well, but you know you're ahead two rounds. And then Nina, she starts to land some punches. What was that? What was that experience like for you? Um, it was a good experience. Like um, I, I shot a couple times out of like you know um, like instinct. But I wasn't really like trying that hard like to get the you know takedown like in terms of like pressuring and trying to get a takedown because I kind of wanted to stand a little bit more you know I wanted to get more comfortable in there I wanted to see how it felt in there on my feet and um, and yeah so it was good but like the last 10 seconds I was so silly like I kind of relaxed a little bit I was like oh it's 10 seconds don't do anything dumb and then she threw like a 20 piece and I was like what the what the heck <laughs> but. Um, yeah, definitely got to be more like. I definitely didn't engage the 10 seconds correctly. <laughs> well, I mean, this would, this could be valuable experience for you, right? Because you got a full round of stand up, which is not yeah. something that we've really seen, at least in your UFC fights, right? How did you feel about your stand up ability against someone who Nina Ansarov, who was ranked in the top five? Well, I think I did really well. Um, I mean, I couldn't really use my left arm, but. I mean, I did hit her with a good left, even though my arm didn't feel great, you know. So I was like, oh, okay. I mean, I'm still, still, tr I'm still fighting through it, you know. And I'm just really proud that I was able to like put that aside because when I when I was practicing and it happened, I definitely didn't finish the round. <laughs> so. Did you reassess anything that you thought coming in, or is this, hey, you got the win? The injury played a part in it, or do you do you look at yourself as like, oh, maybe maybe I wasn't quite where I'm at, or maybe because I've heard you say things like, you know, none of these girls can stop my wrestling, and my 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 chain wrestling is just so far advanced of theirs. Are you reassessing any of that, or is this just unique circumstances tonight? No, I'm not reassessing that. No, uh, I feel really great about you know my skill set and stuff and all that other stuff. I do I do believe that you know, there's always room for improvement. I'm always going to be improving. I'm not, I'm not a perfect fighter, but you know um, I definitely think that I'm tough and that I'm ready for a title shot. And you know I'm ready if they give it to me. Is this something you really want, or you would just take it if it was offered? No, it's something I really want, but I just don't. 
I just don't know, you know, because like I don't know what they, who they want next, or if Rose is going to come back, and you know, I don't want to step on anybody's toes, but that's something I really truly want, and I feel like I, I feel like I deserve a title shot. I mean, I'm nine to zero in the in the UFC, and I've dominated a lot of my fights. So you were literally standing back to back with UFC president Dana White right now. You want to. You want to tell him what you want? You want to let him know that, that you want the title shot? I'll tell him when he's done, but yeah, I don't want to be rude and take it, you know, he's talking to her, so, um, and she's a champ, so I don't want to be rude, but yeah, I'll let him know when we're done. <laughs> Very polite of you. All right, what do you, last question about the neck injury. Do you think it's something, do you need to go home and, and get it checked out, or is it something that, that, that you'll rehab for a little bit? How, what do you, the ex checked out. Uh, I need to get an MRI on it, make sure it's nothing too bad. I mean, neck injuries are very scary, you know. Um, you know, if you mess up your neck, you can end up paralyzed, you know. So um, that was my worry the first time I had my, my neck injury. And, you know, definitely goes to my mind now when I have neck injury problem, like when I have a neck injury. I haven't had any this severe since 2011. So, um, you know, I've been very fortunate. And you know, when I heard it, it was just really, it was just a really freak accident, you know. So I hope you get uh, good news on the neck. Thank you for coming and talking to us, and congratulations on your win. Thank you. Appreciate it.